the West and threats to NATO, do you think that G7 nations have the will to push back against Russia forcibly and push back against China? Do we have the will? No, absolutely not. The, the Europeans are feckless on this, and, and so is the United States. Putin is likely today, as we're talking, Stuart, the, the most feared and the most respected leader in the world today. Sad as that is, very popular in his own country as well. He's been able to achieve a, an annexation of Crimea, eastern Ukraine. He's going to stay, continue to do this. No one is intending to stop him. They don't have the will. They may impose some more sanctions on him. He's going to, he's going to ignore that. Things that would matter, we're not doing. That is providing aid to the Ukrainians, lethal force to make a difference on the battlefield, moving significant forces to the Baltics so that Putin does not try this as step two in what I believe is a, his ultimate goal is to challenge the very existence of, of NATO. He knows that the transatlantic alliance is weak and he's going to take advantage of it. But you don't see any change to that position? You don't see a will on the part of this administration or the Europeans to push back forcibly? No, absolutely not. They've, they've thrown their hand in a long time ago. All, all you're going to get out of them is, is rhetoric. There may be some increase in sanctions, but even the Europeans are pushing back on that. And if it is, it will have no impact on, on Putin. Uh, how about China? I mean, are, are they a really serious threat to us? Well, what's happened with China is I think many, many people looked at China for years and believed that they, for a long time, they had a defensive military strategy. I was one of them. Just recently, they have changed their strategy, and that is they clearly want to dominate the Western Pacific, and they're going to be much more aggressive and much more assertive in, in doing that. You can see that being played out now as they're building islands in the South China Sea. So ch China clearly sees the Western Pacific as, as a role that they, they believe they should dominate in that region much the way the United States and our allies have done, done for years. They, they think that's over. They're going to take advantage of it. And the fact that we're not even pushing back on this incredible cyber attack that they've launched in the United States last week, I mean, at least became, came to public notice last week, is extraordinary. There's no response from the United States. In a moment, President Obama is going to hold a news conference at the end of the G7 meeting, and we're going to go to it. Before he appears, though, I get the impression, General, you don't like America's foreign policy at the moment. You don't like America's retreat. Well, absolutely not. I mean, when you think about what's happening, the radical Islam has morphed into a global jihad, and revisionist powers, Iran, Russia, and China, are all seeking regional domination, and nobody is pushing back on these objectives that they're trying to achieve. And then advanced countries like China and Russia, who have a cyber capability, are launching consistent and persistent offensive cyber attacks on the United States with success and no pushback. When you look at all of that being played out, clearly the security of the United States is much more in jeopardy than what it has been five or six years ago. General Jack Keane, always a pleasure. Thanks very much for joining us this Monday morning. We appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Good talking to you, Stuart, as always. In a